Hello there. My name is Emily Dickinson. I heard you were learning about me in class, so I decided to tell you a little bit about myself and my work. After all, not many people truly understand me. The first thing you should know is that I lived most of my adult life alone. I did not have friends that I spent time with, so I spent my time writing. Because my poems were only for me, I did not worry about audience. No one was ever supposed to read my poetry after I died, so I didn't concern myself with focusing on a reader. Most of my poems involve many kinds of imagery. I absolutely loved imagery. I think this is because I wanted to remember what I was writing about as vividly as possible. So, when I wrote about nature, I would use words that brought the same picture into my head. Those images in my head made me feel how I felt when I wrote the poems. I hope you can feel that too when you read them. Another element I used quite often was personification. I gave unanimated objects lifelike qualities. Like I said, I didn't have friends, so the characters I made up from my surroundings became my friends because I brought them to life. Many times, my imaginary friends were a source of irony for me. They contradicted reality. I did this because I got bored with my quiet life. Most people saw death as a bad thing, but I decided that if I was going to write about death and thus become friends with him, I thought he had better be a gentleman. Also, I didn't always say what I meant. It was more fun to say what I didn't mean in a way that told my true feelings. You'll understand when you read my poems. Oh, my time is almost up, so I wanted to leave you with a tip. When writing poems, don't force them to rhyme. Instead, do what I did and use slant rhyme. This is a close but not exact rhyme to two words. It keeps the readers on their toes and still helps the poem flow. Well, my time is up now, but I hope you enjoy reading my poems. Who knows, maybe you'll even write some of your own.